Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the Regina Celli. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Pray for us to God. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy, joy to, to the world, world through, through the, the resurrection, resurrection of, of your Son, our, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that, that through the intercession of the Virgin, of the Virgin Mary, Mary, His, His Mother, we may, we may obtain, obtain the joys of everlasting life. life. Through the same Christ, Christ our, our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and he rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Glorious Mysteries. The first mystery is the resurrection of Jesus. We offer this mystery for all who are sick and suffering, especially those afflicted by COVID-19. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, sins save, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus to heaven. We offer this mystery for those serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staffs, security forces, pharma staffs, supermarket and bank employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, save, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. We offer this mystery for countries that are greatly affected by the COVID-19 crisis, especially our country, the Philippines. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, save us from, from the fires of hell, and, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into heaven. We offer this mystery for the protection of our families and loved ones from sickness, danger, and harm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our, our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. We offer this mystery for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, especially those who had passed away because of this virus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, save, save us from, from the fires of hell, hell and, and lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy, mercy, hail, hail our, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you, to you do we cry, the poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. Then after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mary, Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O, o God, whose only, only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. For the intention of our Holy Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Oratio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Please all stand and let us pray the novena to our mother of perpetual health. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Thank you. 
please kneel. Nubina Prayer Dear Mother of Perpetual Health, From the cross, Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. Please mention your petitions. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, Share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying. Give hope to the poor and unemployed. Heal the brokenhearted. Walk in solidarity with the oppressed. Teach justice to their oppressors. And bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in You, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, pray for us, that we may rejoice with you at Christ's victory over sin and death. Loving Mother, pray for us, that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit 
and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in a spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge of love and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Amen. Please all stand.
please kneel. Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them, we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially to the Nubina, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially please remember your sick loved ones. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, for those who are sick, especially with COVID-19, for all those who are serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staffs, security forces, pharma staff, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors and all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration and for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed. Today is Wednesday of the fourth week of Easter. Our Mass celebrant 
his father, Ted Toralba, with our parish priest, Father Dave Concepcion. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I would like to ask you to join me in prayer as I celebrate this day, the 28th anniversary of my priestly ordination. Coming together as God's family with confidence, we ask the Father's forgiveness, for He is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who by no merit of my own chose me for communion with the eternal priesthood of your church, of your Christ, and for the ministry of your church, grant that I may be an ardent yet gentle preacher of the gospel and a faithful steward of your mysteries. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow after Barnabas and Saul completed their, their relief mission. They returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church of Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manaim, who was a close friend of Herod, and Tertiarch, and so. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and so, for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and set them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Cilicia, and then from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived to Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. And may he let his face shine upon us. May your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples with equity, the nations on the earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me, believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him. But I did not come, for I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my word has something to judge him, and word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day, because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak, and I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last Monday, I said, there are things we cannot trust. Things happen according to God's time and according to God's ways. I have used the image of a cocoon where you cannot trust our time in our own cocoon. Or else, it will make us weak or it will make us die. And yesterday, I have said that, what are you looking for? What kind of suspense? What kind of suspense? And we fail to understand God because we are so full of ourselves. Punong-puno tayo ng ating mga sarili. Hindi tayo nakikinig. And it's good to remind ourselves that Prayer is not a self-centered monologue, but a God-centered dialogue. To benefit from our prayer is to put some time in listening. Listening. And if you have heard clearly the first reading, the people worship God and they fasted. And in fasting, they receive the Holy Spirit. They, they worship God, they praise God, they fasted, and then they received the Holy Spirit. If you remember, if there is a prayer we are supposed to be praying every day, is to invoke the Holy Spirit to guide us. Or as St. Ignatius of Loyola have said, you must constantly ask the Lord for the grace of understanding. To worship God, to fast, that you may receive the Holy Spirit. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, because we have failed to understand, and that is the very reason we have failed to believe. And because we have failed to believe, we have failed to act accordingly. <clears throat> Siguro isa kayo do sa mga nakakatanggap na uh, we are praying one Hail Mary uh, for the for the whatever you know? kindly send this to 10 people tell me if you cannot do it you know, you know it's a baloney sorry for the words because the moment you receive it <coughs> and you prayed one Hail Mary and you pass it to 10 people it gives you a false consolation that I have done my part. God says, pray unceasingly. 
pray unceasingly, or in simple terms, push, P-U-S-H, push, pray until something happen. Pray until something happen. You don't stop praying. And perhaps in your prayer, you add fasting so that we try to empty ourselves. We try to empty ourselves so that we can have more of God. We empty ourselves so that we can have more of God. That is what prayer is all about. You want to believe, you want to do what you ought to do, you invoke the Holy Spirit. But to all, the only way to have it is to continuously cleanse ourselves, let go, purge ourselves, empty ourselves, so that we can have more of God. Do not forget, prayer is not a self-centered monologue, but a God-centered dialogue. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit with of the vine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Friends, pray that your and my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you the sacri sacrifice of praise, O Lord, for the deepening of our service of you, so that what you have conferred on us, unworthy as we are, you may graciously bring to fulfillment through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of, of hosts, Heaven, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this, this bread, bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, all the bishops and all the clergy. Let's spend a few moments of silence and I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Kindly mention the names of your departed. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Santa Maria Goretti, and all the saints of please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Magandang umaga. Magandang buhay. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. For the glory of your name, O Lord, I have joyfully celebrated the mystery of faith to mark the anniversary of my priestly ordination so that I may be in truth 
what I have handled mystically in this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer for the family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and, and bless, bless us with new beginnings. With new beginnings. Smile, Smile upon, upon our parents, parents and, and surround our children with, with the soft, soft mantle of, of your love. love. Teach every, every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to, to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please stand. I would like to invite everyone to extend your hand to Father Ted. Let us pray for him. Let us ask the Lord to continue to bless him, guide him, anoint him. Ama namin pagmahal, idinudulog po namin sa iyo itong iyong anak. Taglay ang kanyang pasasalamat sa bukasyon na pinagkalaw mo sa kanya. Ikaw ang tumawag, ikaw ang humirang. Panginoon, batid mo ang kanyang pagkatao. Alam mo ang kanyang mga pagtawa at pagluha, ang kanyang mga kahinaan at kalakasan, ang kanyang mga kabiguan at tagumpay. Alam mo rin, Panginoon, na kanyang mga pangarap, hindi lang para sa kanyang sarili, kundi para sa iyong sambayanan. Panginoon, nagpapasalamat at nagpupuri sa biyayang tangi ikaw lamang makapagbibigay. Nawa po'y patuloy mo siyang ingatan, ilayo mo siya sa lahat ng uri ng kapahamakan. Patuloy mo siyang pagkalawa ng kalakasan, kalusugan. At kung meron man siyang karamdaman, nawapoy dulutan mo siya ng kagalingan. Gabayan mo siya palagi sa kanyang mga iniisip at ginagawa. Kung meron man siyang suliranin, problema, lalong-lalo na sa mga panahon na ito ng pandemic, Panginoon, tuwangan mo po siya. Alisin mo po ang kanyang mga pagkatakot at pangamba. Dagdagan mo po ang kanyang pananalig at pananampalataya sa iyo. Panginoon, nawa po ang kanyang pagkapari, ang kanyang pagkatao. Ay pagharian mo ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaisa, pagkakasundo-sundo, kapayapaan, kasayahan, puspos ng pag-ibig at kasaganahan. Nawa po ang kanyang mga paglilingkod ay maging kalugod-lugod sa iyo palagi. Nawa po ang iyong Espiritu Santo ay lumukob sa kanya upang gabayan ang kanyang mga iniisip at sinasabi. Panginoon, meron din po siya mga panalangin, meron din po siya mga inaasam-asam. Pero kung ano man po ang higit niya ikabubuti, higit niya ikababanal, higit niya ikasasaya, higit niya ikasasagana, higit niya, Panginoon, na maging kalugod-lugod sa iyo, kayo na po ang magkaloob. At kung ano man po ang kanyang mga panalangin, nawa po sa tulong at panalangin mga banal, lalong-lalo po ng mahal na birhen, gayon din si San Jose, at aming patron, Santa Maria Goretti, siya po ay palagi mong pagpalain sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Amen. Happy anniversary. <coughs> Salamat po. <laughs> Mahaba to. Magsiyo po. Hindi po ako magbibigay ng di po ba, Father? Pagpasok ko sa sacristy, sinabihan ako ni Father Dave, total anniversary sa pagkapari mo, magbigay ka ng vocation promotion message or inspirational words. 
na isipan ko. Yung hinandang homily ko na lang ang gagawin kong vocation promotion. I will just tweak it and wing it and uh, try to uh, comply with the vocation promotion request. No? Uh, alam po ninyo, yung kahoy no, galing sa isang semilya, isang butil. Yung tao, galing sa maliit lang na bagay. We know human beings begin with the tiny ovum fertilized by the spermatozoon. No? Alam natin yung sikat na wall of China, malaki. No? Mahaba, no? mataas, makapal. But it began with a single stone. So in all instances, big things come from small things. And small things are followed by extraordinary. They are sometimes followed by unpredictable developments. Kaya mapansin nyo sa unang pagbasa mula sa mga gawa o gawain ng mga apostol. We are told that Paul's extraordinary career began with what in Catholic renewal movement is called a prophecy. Kaya kung nakinig tayo sa unang pagbasa, alam natin na parang meron silang prayer, <coughs> prayer meeting. And during that prayer meeting, someone who had a special charism of being able to speak in God's name spoke up and then he said, set apart Barnabas and Saul for me to do the work for which I have called them. Siyempre, yung mga tao na nasa prayer meeting naniniwala. It was a special charism. And God in His Spirit spoke to that person. And through that person said, O, oh, ito yung pinili ko. Pinili ko si Barnabas at si Saul. And they will be the ones to be sent to do the work. To do the work for which I have called them. Kaya alam natin yung missionary journey ni St. Paul, dito nagsimula. <clears throat> dito nagsimula yung kanyang uh, paglilingkod. And we know that he traveled far and wide until he reached Rome, no? where he met his final destiny. Ganon din, tinignan ko yung aking uh, buhay pare. 28 years, no? on hindsight, naisipan ko, Tinitingnan ko, saan nga ba nagsimula ito? Well, we know in the Old Testament, the prophets would say, From your mother's womb, I knew you. Eh, hindi ko naman alam nun, no? And so I tried to look back, and I think that was the time when I was in grade one, I wanted to accompany my maternal grandmother to church every single day. Araw-araw, nagsisimba yung aking lola. Uh, 6 a.m. yung mass. It was a chapel, walking distance po sa aming bahay. Ngayon, isang parish church na siya. And then, from grade 1 to grade 6, 6 in the morning, no? kigising ako ng 5 dahil baliligo. But on hindsight, hindi ko maisip, paano ko nagawa yun, no? Probably that was a time when God started to plant. No? And then He started to water, cultivate my vocation. Grade 6, hanggang grade 6 lang. Dahil first year high school, nasa seminary na ako. And I remembered we had the entrance examination. And after the entrance examination came the interview. And the upper class men, yung mga senior sa amin, yung mga second year, third year, fourth year high school na nandoon, tumutulong, sabi nila, oh, ganitong sasabihin nyo kung tatanungin kayo ni Father, ha? Kung tatanungin kayo, o oh, bakit ka pumasok sa seminaryo? Ang isasagot mo, at ito lang ang isasagot mo, gusto kong magpari. I was barely 12 years old when I said it. Never meaning what I said. Dahil yun ang sinabi ng mga upper class sa seminary. 
O sabihin mo ha na gusto mong magpare. Kaya mahirap, mahirap sagutin yung katanungan, bakit gusto ninyong magpare, Father? Baka gusto yan ng iyong parents. My parents never thought of it. And I also never thought of it. Never crossed my mind. Ever. Dahil gusto ko maging piloto. Piloto ng yung military plane. Hindi commercial, no? Kasi gusto kong subukan, paano nga ba? Paano nga ba matamaan yung kontra? O kung hindi piloto ng Air Force, gusto ko maging marinero, no? maging kapitan ng barko, ng battleship. Eh, hey, wala tayong battleship. You know, when we make plans, sometimes when we tell it to God, He would just simply laugh at us. I think we are determined in our life. Kaya sabi ng Panginoon kay propeta sa mga propeta sa lumang tipan, mula man sa sinapupunan mo, kilalang kilala na kita. So I think that's where it all started. Every day, I was at church. And when I started to uh, study, learn, guitar, banjo and bandoria, yung school kasi namin malapit dun sa chapel. So every Saturday evening, anticipated mass, tumutugtog ako doon. Hanggang nasa seminary, tumutugtog din ako. Uh, organ ng nanduroon. So probably those were the avenues, those were the doors that opened up the grace of vocation to the priesthood. Bakit nga ba desisyon yung magpare? I think the answer to that is simply this one, that we consented to the call. It is an invitation, an invitation to all men and women, consecrated women, to join the religious life, to enter into a more probably more intimate uh, union with the Lord. Uh, it's a normal life uh, lived uh, probably extraordinarily in ways that only God would know. Dahil alam natin, no? Sa bukasyon, dahil tawag yan ng Panginoon, He makes a lot of plans. No? But in His permitting will, He also allows us our own. So long as they conform with His will, His predetermined will. So, ganun yung pagpapari, pagiging madre. No? And then, uh, sa lahat ng mga binata ngayon, no? uh, because of the world today with all the allurements, Uh, come to think of the life of the priesthood. It is duty and service. Service and duty. Not for oneself, but for others. Maging uh, altruistic man no, sa outlook natin. Maging visionary man. But it's a vision that the Lord has set for His people. But not only for His people, but for the world. Because He loved the world in which we live. No? Hindi lang ang tao, kundi ang buong mundo. Dahil nilikha niya at salamin ng kanyang likas na pagkadiyos. So, I would like to encourage no, uh, young men, even um, young adults, no, uh, to enter, uh, think, uh, discern the promptings and the suasion, the gentle suasion of the Holy Spirit. Just like the event in the Acts of the Apostles we heard in the first reading that finds its completion in the work of the Lord in the gospel that we have heard. And so the final message that we would like to impart to everyone, especially for the vocation to the priesthood and to the consecrated religious life, men and women, is a quotation that would have come from the first man who landed on the moon many, many years ago. Ano ba yung sabi niya? One small step for a man, a great leap for mankind. As brothers and sisters in Christ, as His children, the children of the Lord, the children of God, let us pray for one another. Oremus pro invicem. Magsitayo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I would like to thank Father Dave for the opportunity to uh, celebrate this Mass. Sabi ko, mag-concelebrate lang ako. And then he said, ikaw na lang mag-celebrate. I will deliver a short homily. He didn't know I had a longer one. And then, <laughs> uh, pagkatapos nito, we will continue with the uh, 
di po ba, Father? No? May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Maraming salamat po. Magandang umaga. Magandang buhay.